when I reached a million dollars profit from Heads Up Sit and Goes, for me it was really just kind of a marker. My name is Olivier Bousquet, and I play on Folto as Liv B112 and on Poker Stars as Adonis 112. Poker is all about um, hand ranges and frequencies. And I think one of my biggest advantages is my ability to adjust hand ranges and frequencies within, um, you know, by, by, by making those adjustments within games, within kind of small context changes, based on how the dynamic within a game has shifted. Before I was playing sit and goes, especially heads up sit and goes, people didn't think of it really as a way that you could make a lot of money. There was this huge gap in terms of how people thought, you know, what game, what types of games people thought were profitable and in what sense. So until I had done that, I think people didn't really realize that you could really make a lot of money if you were really good at these games. So I think I ended up kind of inspiring or motivating a lot of different people to try their hand at these games because I proved that you could really make a lot of money doing it. When I reached two million, you know, two million in profit from Heads Up Sit and Goes, and nobody had yet kind of reached a million, I just felt like, I just felt really happy that I had specialized in a way and created this niche for myself. Congratulations. $900,000 richer. Thank you very much. You look really emotional. You look really excited right now. Tell me how you're feeling. Yeah, I'm a little bit overwhelmed by the whole thing. I mean, uh, to actually win the tournament is, um, is just is unreal. When I won the, the WPT Borgata event uh, in 2009, it was, a, it was a really special moment for me because I, I had always watched WPT tournaments on TV. You know, I, even, I used to record them and watch them and re-watch them and so I always dreamed about getting far in a tournament and obviously hopefully winning one. So when it actually happened for me, um, it was kind of like a dream come true. Olivier knows he's one card away from winning this title and a five comes up, he's done it. He's going to win the pot with three fours. Olivier has made the greatest comeback in the history of the World Poker Tour, playing heads up. That's amazing. And I thought, you know, obviously I had a chance to win. I actually had a chip lead going into the final table. But still, so many things can happen that I, I, I was never in a position where I was expecting to win. I was always just trying to focus on playing my best and making good decisions. When I actually got to heads up, uh, which is, you know, just one-on-one, -on -one, my opponent during the course of heads up got a huge lead on me. And uh, he was about a 20 to 1, he had about a 20 to 1 tip advantage on me. And at that point, you know, I didn't have a lot of, uh, I didn't have, you know, high expectations about winning, but I always, I never gave up hope. I never, I never thought that it was um, a lost cause. And I, I battled back, I got a little bit lucky, and then I ended up taking the lead and eventually winning. And that was just kind of a surreal moment. I mean, the whole experience of winning, of being, so far down and mounting what ended up being you know, the greatest comeback in WPT history. It was just a really exciting and, and kind of special moment for me. It really propelled me and gave me confidence to continue playing live tournaments and, and think that I could have even more success. Hi, I'm Olivier Bousquet, and I just finished runner-up in the EPT Monte Carlo High Roller. When you watch poker on TV, you say, oh wow, this guy got so lucky in 10 hands in a row and he won a million dollars. That's so great, but that's, that's such a, sm a small snippet of what led to that success, whether it's me or with any other real professional. You know, the, 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 the nitty-gritty aspect of poker is kind of not, um, it's not seen, not understood, I think, well enough. You know, poker's really, for me, poker's been, not only a struggle, but it's also been a lot of hard work. I did a lot, I've done a lot to, to move up in stakes, to, to learn fundamentally how to play strategically and from a theory standpoint. And so when I win money or when I make money, it's actually one of the things that I really love about poker is I know that I've really earned that money. I think poker players have been betrayed a little bit too narrowly, and especially with, with, because, of the, because of online poker. There have been a, a ton of new entrants into the poker world and a lot of different types of people playing poker. So I think um, what's important and what I want to try to be a part of is just an expansive view of what a poker player could be like.